Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Uh, what you're looking at here is a 12 by 12 hole. It's in fact, it's uh, it's my intake air. It's uh, it's my passive intake. So I have an eight inch exhaust fan and I have a 12 by 12 uh, opening for air to be passively intake. And uh, the issue that kind of everyone, myself included, has always had with any kind of air intake, especially one that doesn't have any kind of distance to travel, it's just essentially through a wall, is how do we block light from coming in while still allowing adequate airflow? And uh, today I just wanted to pass along a little product tip or a product thing that I found. Um, and it is right here, as you can see, it's this black vent and uh, fits my space perfectly, it's 12 by 12, but it's a little thick and what those, uh, that thickness is, is light baffles. And so uh, I got this from B&H Photo because it is a light tight darkroom vent model L1212, so meaning 12 by 12. And uh, it's exactly what it sounds like. Obviously, a dark room is a place that can't have light in it, um, but they still need air exchange so people don't die and fumes can get out and all this kind of stuff. Uh, this is what allows them to do that, and it's a pretty handy tool to have here for uh, you know any kind of home gardener as well, trying to do the exact same thing for a uh, for a different end reason. Um, so this one, it fits my space perfectly. I already had a 12 by 12 uh, hole that I've always kind of used. cardboard baffles and uh, metal baffles and things like this to, to kind of redirect it and block light as much as I can as well as like uh, air conditioner filters, black t-shirts, things like that. And it's just, it's never been that great. This, it is that great and it is that simple. Um, this doesn't fit on this side, it fits from the outside for me. So let me just go slap this in here and show you how easy this really is. All right, um, now that's literally pretty much all she wrote for install. Um, all I have to do left now is there's four screw holes on each corner on the outside to just screw it to the outside of my building, which happens to use wood siding, gonna be very easy for that. And then I'll put a little bit of, uh, you know, weather sealing or silicone around it um, just to make sure everything stays nice, airtight and tidy and no, uh, no liquids or anything like that get in. But kind of the point you guys came for is it's supposed to be air or uh, light tight, right? Let's check it out. Aha! Fantastic! Dark as night. Might take a uh, second or two for my eyes to adjust, but the camera, no need. As you can see, no, uh, no light coming through there. But what we do have is airflow. I can feel it right now. No problem. Um, should be enough airflow. I'd like to get a CFM rating on these, and I'll work to get that and maybe add it to the description later. Um, but it should be pretty adequate. This is enough, a 12 inch hole is enough. You should have, for a passive intake, you should have a minimum of double the intake space or CFM capability as you do outtake. So 12 by 12 is more than double the, of the, uh, essentially the surface area of an eight inch circle. Um, so we should be just fine on that. Um, but with that, this is baffling the air a little bit or redirecting it. So it's gonna have a little bit of hit compared to a clearly a wide open, uh, Hole, and I can tell that just right now as soon as the door shuts versus when it's wide open and why not um, But it doesn't seem to be too restrictive and I'll keep you guys posted, but obviously light tight uh, clean tidy easy over the counter you could definitely DIY um, Some light baffles in there and maybe we do that down the line But for a 12 by 12 hole that's pre-made or even I know they make an 8 by 8 one too uh, Man, it just couldn't get any easier and absolutely what I want so put my grates back over here and fantastic. Um, so I'm happy with my purchase. So link is down below. It's to B&H. I get no kickbacks from it whatsoever. Just passing along a kind of a good product that I was told about years ago and finally got to use uh, myself. So I'll keep you guys posted. But again, thanks for stopping by, checking it out, and uh, hope it helps you. All right, peace.